Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we're going to do the detailed uh, FAQ on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. So Redmi Note 8 Pro is the latest uh, smartphone in the Note series and this comes with really power packed hardware. In this video, we've been, uh, uh, we, in fact, we have been getting a lot of questions on this device, whether there is notification LED, how good is the gaming experience, how is the camera, uh, whether this supports wide wide L1, uh, camera to API. So we have been getting a lot of questions on this device. So in this video, we will answer all these questions. So let's get started with the detailed FAQ. First step, let's have a look at the sensors available on this device. So we have installed the sensors app and you can have a look at uh, the sensors available. So it comes with accelerometer, magnetic sensor, gyroscope, light proximity and all the basic sensors are included on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Next talking about the display. So this device comes uh, with a, a 6.5 inches uh, full HD plus resolution display. It's an IPS LCD panel. It's, it is a HDR enabled display. So you can see that the device has a really good display. There is Gorilla Glass uh, 5 support on the back and the front panel. So you can see that uh, the display quality is really good. The viewing angles are really excellent and the touch response is very smooth on this display. So there isn't anything to complain on the Redmi Note 8 Pro in terms of display quality. Next, let's talk about the SIM cards. So we have a dual SIM card support on this device. So this is the slot. So we have a two SIM card slots. So the first slot has one SIM card and a micro SD card. And the second slot has a SIM card. So there is dedicated SD card support on this device. So Redmi Note 7 Pro did not have dedicated SD card slot, but now we have a dedicated SD card slot on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Now this has a dual voltage support and it's dual 4G SIM card on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Now talking about the storage. So this device comes in uh, two variants, uh, one is 64 gigabyte storage and there is 120 gigabyte storage and the two variants are, I mean in fact three variants are coming, uh, 6 gigabyte RAM and 64 gigabyte storage, 6 gigabyte RAM and 128 gigabyte storage and 8 gigabyte RAM and 128 gigabyte storage. So these are the three variants, the basic variant starts at 14 to plan. Now next let's talk about the fingerprint scanner. So you can see that the fingerprint scanner uh, module is integrated with the camera module. So you can see that inside the camera unit, we have the fingerprint scanner. This is the fingerprint scanner. So we have already done a video on the fingerprint scanner performance. You can see that it's really fast uh, fingerprint scanner. It might not be the fastest out there, uh, but it still is very accurate and it is definitely faster than the in-display fingerprint scanners available. Now talking about the face unlock. Again, we'll just uh, do a, a quick demo. So there you go. Again, not the fastest out there, but it does a really good job. Next, uh, talking about the software. So this device uh, has a MIUI 10. So we all know that MIUI uh, is the one which powers all the Xiaomi smartphones. So you can see that it, it does offer a lot of options, including the dark theme, which is now available on uh, this device as well. So uh, you can uh, do a lot of customization here, support for themes, uh, app locker, fingerprint scanner, uh, customization, then support for themes, uh, dual app support, um, second space. So these are some uh, really useful options. And there is also deeper integration with Alexa. So that's something which is really good. So these are some things uh, which are available in the Redmi Note 8 Pro in terms of software. And this device will be getting uh, MIUI 11 in December. Next, let's move on to the performance side. So this device uh, is powered by the uh, Helio G90T processor, which is a really powerful chipset. Uh, it is an eight core chipset uh, and uh, this is uh, actually intended for intensive gaming. That's where MediaTek has done a really good job. It is pretty smooth performance. So there's no lags whatsoever. We have been using this device for like uh, three, four days now and uh, we have hardly seen any sort of issues here in terms of performance side. So it's pretty smooth performer and it does a really good job. Even in terms of the gaming experience, uh, when we played uh, PUBG Mobile for almost like 50 minutes, the maximum temperature was around 43 degrees. So even uh, there, there is any sort of heating and we have a liquid cooling on this device. So probably one of the few smartphones in this price segment uh, to come with liquid cooling and uh, uh, really good uh, heat control is there on this device. So that's another important thing about the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Now next, uh, the battery. So this device comes with 4,500 mAh capacity battery and there is 18 watt fast charger support and uh, 18 watt fast charger is bundled with the box package. So many of you have been asking us whether there is a bundle charger. So there is bundle charger. Now talking about uh, the battery performance and the charging time, we'll do a separate video. We are still in, uh, in the process of testing that. So we'll be updating a new video on uh, battery performance. So stay tuned for that. Now next let's talk about the speaker performance. So uh, we'll just uh, play a, a song from the YouTube's uh, audio library and then we'll show you the performance.
So that was the speaker test. It is adequately loud enough speaker. Its uh, speaker is located on the bottom section and it does a quite decent job altogether. Now next let's talk about the notification LED on this device. So we are going to connect this device to a charger. So there you go. And uh, you can see that uh, there is a notification LED on top section. So you can see near to uh, the, uh, the selfie camera, you can see a notification LED. So that is supported on this device. So you can see that's the notification LED on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Now next uh, uh, USB OTG support. As yes, this device does support USB OTG out of the box. So all the Xiaomi smartphones uh, does support USB OTG out of the box and this is no exception. Next talking about the quad camera. So this device is a quad array camera. So it's uh, the 64 megapixel camera on the center. That's a sensor, uh, Samsung's GW1 sensor. On the top we have the depth sensor and the bottom we have the 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and towards the, uh, the flash we have the 2 megapixel macro lens and uh, you also get uh, a 20 megapixel selfie camera on the front panel. Now the camera quality is pretty good, we have done a detailed camera review, you can also check out that video to get an idea about how good the camera performance is. It's almost uh, similar to the Redmi Note 7 Pro, the low light performance uh, uh, needs a tad more improvement, uh, especially in the night mode, uh, the, the sharpness and details could have been a better. So this probably would be fixed via software updates, that's what we expect. So overall the camera performance is pretty good on this device. Now another question we have been getting is whether the Redmi Note 8 Pro has Wide One L1 support. So we have checked this and you can see that uh, Wide One L1 uh, is supported. The security level is Wide One L1. So that is included. Now another thing uh, uh, a lot of users might want to know is whether there is camera to EPA support. You can see that uh, full uh, is the hardware level support. So that means uh, you can install uh, camera to EPA. I mean in fact uh, uh, the Gcam APK on this device and uh, you can um, uh, take pictures using the Gcam APK. So that is included on this device. So this device comes in three colors. Uh, we have uh, the green variant, uh, then we have the white and the black variant. And uh, this device uh, pricing starts at 12, uh, in fact 14 triple nine and uh, there is also Alexa support included and uh, this device will be available on me.com as well as uh, amazon.in those are the two places where this device will be available starting October 21st. So that was a detailed FAQ on the Redmi Note 8 Pro hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos this is Nimble signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day.